Dua's Fierce Supernova. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on this Fierce Supernova by the house of Dua. Dua is a fragrance house that kind of makes me want to give up on creating my own fragrance. They seem to just maximize every fragrance that they do. And as many of you guys know, they've been kind of blending like very exotic fragrances, fragrances that people really like together. Almost all Dua blends have gotten my interest just because of this fragrance right here. Fierce Supernova is a blend of Dua's Classic Fierce, which is my favorite version of Abercrombie Fierce, and also Elysium. Now Elysium seems to be like one of the most hyped fragrances out. People kind of make it seem like it's Aventus, but just a little bit extra, a little bit better with a little bit weaker projection. I really like the clones that I've had of Elysium. In my opinion, this is about 70% Vintage Fierce and 30% Elysium. Now, I don't know if that's uh, exactly how they did it, but that's what it smells like to me. Dua's Vintage Fierce is an absolute monster. You could probably smell Vintage Fierce Dua's version for about seven days on clothes, maybe a little bit longer. It just smells so good and so strong. So if you were to put that with a weaker scent like Elysium, maybe that's what gives, a, gives it a more fierce dominant kind of smell. But the reason I picked this one up is because I had a commenter on one of my videos, I'll search up the comment and put it down below. And he said that he bought this fragrance, that he liked it more than Dua's Vintage Fierce. Just had a bunch of th good things to say about it. And there was also a guy who commented on that comment and was like, what you said right there, maybe buy a bottle. When I saw Dua was having a 30% off sale, this one caught my eye, especially because as you may know, Dua's Vintage Fierce has been, people message me all the time that it's always unavailable. And then like, if it is available, it's gone just at the drop of a hat, things like that. So this is kind of nice to have something definitely in the ballpark of Fierce, definitely with that same quality and almost all of that Fierce vibe. For those people who didn't like the rougher aspects of Fierce, this is a kind of like a Fierce light while still maintaining all the robustness and all the great stuff from Classic Fierce, just giving it a little bit smoother touch, which I think a lot of people would actually enjoy. Pros is that it has an amazing, amazing smell. Um, I didn't really wanna get into the notes of this one, listing all the notes of Fierce and all the notes of Elysium. Like I was just saying before, it's that really nice quality vintage Fierce style smell just interfused with a little bit of freshness, a little bit lighter. People say that Fierce smells like BO. I don't really get that vibe, but it does have a little bit of an off-putting vibe, a little bit of a weird musk. It can't at certain times. And I do think this fragrance is, is going to have less of that, which a lot of people do like. I've tested this probably for about seven days. I've sprayed it up a bunch. I just really like this fragrance, so I did not want to blow through half the bottle like I do on some of my other fragrances, but I have sprayed it quite a bit of times, probably at least seven days. I've at least sprayed it on myself, and you really only need like two or three sprays. The main pro for most people has the goodness of Vintage Fierce, but it doesn't have as much of the normal negatives, people would say. If you like Fierce, you're gonna love this fragrance. If you liked Fierce, but you wanted one that's a little bit less in your face, but definitely with that same Fierce vibe, definitely go with this one. When I first smelled this fragrance and I was getting used to this fragrance, this fragrance, it makes me feel like if I was gonna pick one fragrance to just wear for a couple years and get rid of all my other fragrances, this fragrance might be it because it's got that familiar Fierce style DNA, especially the perfected Duas version. And it's also a little bit different. And it's just a fragrance that works really well with my personality. And again, like I could just see myself if I wasn't doing fragrance reviews on YouTube. And let's say I had this drive to like, just get rid of all my fragrances and just go get into life with just one fragrance, buy a bunch of that fragrance and only wear that fragrance. I might have to go with this one. There's something about it being newer, but also just as good as the old Fierce and in most of the ways. Really like this stuff, guys. The cons, there really isn't too many. It depends, again, who you are. But the cons is that it is not as punchy and it is not as long-lasting as Vintage Fierce. This still lasts very good. This still is reasonably punchy. I would say this is above average how punchy it is. But do as Vintage Fierce, it's just got more musk. It's got more oomph. For certain people, if you didn't like how in your face Fierce is, this is a better version of it. Vintage Fierce by Dua definitely does last longer and it definitely is more in your face. You could probably be smelled, you know, 15 feet away 
off like three, four sprays, especially if you get some wind out there. It is just amazing. You would probably smell this on your clothes for maybe three, four days. There's definitely been some times I've sprayed up clothes or sprayed up like a mask or something, and then I get around it again, and I smell that familiar fear style smell on it. To be honest, it only smells like fierce when I smell this one in the dry down, but it is still above average for how long it lasts. For me, I actually feel like I'm the minority in this one, but I personally, I like Vintage Fierce a hair better. Just because I love Fierce. Fierce is like one of my favorite smells of all time. Vintage Fierce, it's as fierce as you're gonna get. It's in your face, it's everything, it's immature. It's all the stuff. It's all fierce in one ball. But I do think most people, I would say four out of five people would probably prefer this one. Let's jump into the smell rating. The smell is a nine to a 9.5. For me, a 9.5 is pretty much perfect. I don't know why, I just don't like doing 10. So this is as close to perfect as you're gonna get from my nose. I just really, I love this stuff, guys. Likeability, I'm gonna have to go with nine out of 10 too. Like I wanna be reasonable, I don't wanna put it over the top, but Fierce is a really good smelling fragrance. It can be a little rough, maybe if you get up close at the wrong times, but I felt like Vintage Fierce smelled very good. And then especially with this projection being a little bit lighter and a little bit easier to get into, a nine out of 10, really good likability. And then longevity, I'm gonna have to give between a 7.5 to an eight. It's got good above average projection. And I would say what kind of makes me wanna put it up into an eight is that I have smelled it on my clothes days later, which is a very, very good sign. And I love smelling that you know, putting an old shirt on and it's smelling just so, so good from Cologne's days before. And then for the situations, the gym is great. I would just go with one or two sprays. Work is okay. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit likable, but generally for work, I like something a little bit more robust and a little bit more safe. For date, I would say this is good. One step below great. This is a very, very sexy smelling fragrance. This smells absolutely great. But generally when you think of dates, you think of like spicy, sweet, flirty, nighttime. This isn't really this fragrance. This is kind of like a great summertime fragrance. It's bordering on the line of the powerhouse summer fragrance, but it's like not there. If you kind of wanted to use this as a summer powerhouse, you kind of could, but as an everyday summer, just wearing this is so, so, so good. But let me know what you think of Fierce Supernova. This fragrance, like I said, it makes me want to give up on trying to make my own fragrance because I am just blown out of my socks with Dua. And then on top of this smelling so, so, so good. It's like, man, I gotta smell all their other blends because they might be like the best fragrance company out. And there is a lot of good fragrance companies out with a lot of good fragrances. So saying that is no easy task. Let me know which other Duas I should try next. Let me know what other blends too, if you like a certain blend. I really like Baccarat Rouge 540 and I know they have like Casino Royale Nights blends, things like that. but. Anyways, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys. Let's hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.